If a disease breaks out anywhere in the world, the Epidemic Intelligence Service, or EIS, is called in to investigate the outbreak. A lot of people uh, refer to EIS as the disease detectives because we are the ones sent out during outbreak or emergency response situations. The elite team works quickly to figure out who is sick, the origin of the infection, and how to stop it from spreading. I'm Caitlin Kassaboom. I'm a second year Epidemic Intelligence Service Officer at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. My first outbreak was an anthrax outbreak in wildlife in Namibia. Over 200 hippos and Cape buffalo died. Over a thousand people were exposed to the carcasses. We assisted Namibia with control efforts in order to prevent future infections. Today, Caitlin has been deployed here, on St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. In September 2017, the islands were hit by two major hurricanes. In the aftermath, several people fell sick to a bacterial disease called leptospirosis, the first time it was seen on the islands. The local health department needed backup, so they called in the disease detectives. Leptospirosis, or lepto, is a bacterial disease spread through the urine of infected animals. If there's flooding or rain, humans could have contact with water that has been contaminated. The symptoms of lepto are flu-like illness, but people that get a very serious infection, it can be fatal. We have 14 people from CDC that are down here for this, as well as at least 25 local volunteers. And we're gonna go back to the block that we were in yesterday. Um, yeah, so it'll be pretty quick. Once the team has their map assignments, the detective work begins. We start going door to door with the primary goal of educating people on the disease. Hi, good afternoon. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mike. We ask them if they would be willing to take a survey. We take a small amount of blood so that we can test and see if they've been exposed to lepto. The lab takes a specimen, they'll centrifuge um, or spin down the specimens, and then they'll store those for freezing to be eventually mailed back to CDC in Atlanta for the testing. What we're really hoping is that the Department of Health can use that information when paired with the survey data to identify risk factors for exposures. I have a training in animal diseases and being able to apply that to help humans is kind of the best of both worlds. You're doing something that is actively preventing people from getting sick with really serious diseases. Being out there and doing that and interacting with people and, you know, making that difference, it's been a great experience.